Why sit we here till we die? I, I, I am not, I, you cannot contain, it will be difficult to contain me. So it was still early. As I heard the voice, then I started careful. She said, Then I was hitting the floor. I was shouting. I said, God is so real. Jesus. I was shouting, hitting the wall. I thought they were coming to say. That was the word from the Lord. Why sit we here till we die? And the Lord began to show me some people that had enough of nonsense and they challenged what they were not happy with. David, for example, he said, who are you? The un uncircumcised Philistine? Defying the army of God? And he stood up. He challenged God and he brought him down. Why sit here? Are we going to dare to make a move? We are children of a lion, the lion of the tribe of Judah. A lion cannot give birth to a goat. You have to be. We challenge things. Gideon. What do you know about Gideon? God said to him, go in this thy might. Have not I commanded you? When now get to Judges 8 verse 4, the Bible says, the, the the, as they were fighting, the Bible says, faint yet pursuing. That means this fight, we are not stopping. Whether we are tired, we are going. Whether I am weak, I am going. Why sit? Lepros, four lepros guys that would have died when Samira was besieged. Don't you know this country is under a siege? Are we going to sit down and watch it? We make a move. This is a movement. Well, a movement has started. Hallelujah. And if Satan has not been able to take out our father, he won't be able to take us out. Yeah. A nation that is under a siege, besieged by homosexuality, drunkenness, take Bible out of schools, teach children sex education, five-year-olds, and tell them they can change their sex. The devil has hold, holding this country to ransom. But we are here, we arise. Why sit we here till we die? We are not going to sit down. We stand up. We make a move. We are taking back the nation. We are standing on the, on the prophecy that has been given by Derek Prince, Smith Wigglesworth. And we are bringing this nation back to God by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' mighty name.